First of all, we are not a you know, regular time, the coronavirus time. COVID-19, was it difficult to accept this role? What did you think? Because you travel from California, would you like to have to be actor in coronavirus time? Well, COVID-19, I think if you're very careful and you keep social distance and you wear your mask, I think it's like the flu, you'll be okay. But you have to be very careful and very smart. This set was very grown up, and everybody behaved like grown ups, and everybody respected each other. And it was very, it was safe. And uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have stayed. And uh, I was, I was tested every three days. I'm okay, so uh, it's all good. And uh, in fact, I was tested this afternoon yeah, well, for the last time. And uh, um, you just have to be smart, and you have to be polite. I think common courtesy goes a long way with COVID. If you keep your distance and your face covered, you're going to be okay. What about the movie, your role? What would you like to tell? It was exi exi exciting for you because you've been many wonderful. I would like you to ask my boss about the movie because, because I come at explaining movies from an actor's point of view. Very different, very indulgent. Tell him the story, boss. Oh, it's a thriller in which, um, let's just say, um, some some bad people decide to... Uh, well, to, uh, to put it you know, succinctly, <laughs> it's a thriller about love, life, liberty, and lots of money. And um, oh, that's it's very well exciting. <laughs> and I, I like your actor's perspective better than mine. Okay. It's like, how do you explain it without giving away too much? I like your take on that. Though. You have to talk in broad strokes. <laughs> uh, I liked your coronavirus answer, though. He actually, he cracked a joke today. He came back from his coronavirus test, and he, went, and he told everybody he tested positive, and everybody was, it was very silent on set for a minute. Yeah, it was so cute. So, well, guess what? I'm positive. And everybody goes, <laughs> that's really oh. funny. For just a second. No, I said just kidding. <laughs> yeah. And what about the movie? And you had a great team, the great crew, your work? Well, I make a lot of movies. I meet a lot of crews. This crew is a skeleton crew. It's a true skeleton crew. It's only five guys. They are fantastic. They do the work of 12 men. There are five, excuse me, there are five boys. And they do the work of 12 men. They are incredible. And, uh, it was a pleasure to be here, and uh, I, I'm 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 like I'm like smiling because it's such a surprise when something is so small and yet so specifically good, and it was. Well, we wanted a coronavirus-friendly set, so we devised a, a story that had a minimal cast and also a minimal crew. So, you know, we didn't want a big. Big, big production with like 20, 30 people on set. So uh, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> and you are the boss. Why you you want to choose? <laughs> I'm a first time boss. I've, I've, I've made a few movies. Nowhere near. Eric is, has the Guinness World Book of Records, um, and it's, it's fantastic. I mean, gosh, yeah. Oscar nominations, Golden Globe nominations. I'm like, <laughs> I was so excited to work with him. I was a big fan. And um, yeah, I, I wouldn't call myself a boss. I, I've worked in some facets of production. This was the first time I produced a film from beginning to end. And it was a little daunting at first because again, we had a minimal crew and I'm Los Angeles based. So, you know, I, I can find, you know, crew in Los Angeles, but it's a little harder in Virginia. And at first I panicked because I was like, oh my God, I've really bitten off more than I can chew. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to She find found it. a good group. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we pulled through by grace and God and, <laughs> and the universe helped. We got helped along the way. <laughs> it was divine intervention. <laughs> yeah. And are you ready to watch the movie? You know, how will be the movie? You know, I got to be honest with you. I stopped watching myself 15 years ago. I got tired of watching myself. I don't watch myself. I love the work. I love the journey. I don't need the result anymore. I love the journey, and that's that's so. No, I I will never see it. 
but I made it. <laughs> so my last question to you, many people will watch in Turkey and she's more famous than you in Turkey. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> what would you like to say about, you know, Turkish movie, they are uh, more popular in the world, Turkish series. What would you like to say about I don't understand the question. All I understand is she's more famous in Turkey. <laughs> no, 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 That's no, fine. No, no. What else? You said you didn't like Turkey. Like, no. what, what else? What would you like to say about Turkish movie? You know, they're popular in all over the world. I've never seen a Turkish movie and I can't wait. So take me to the movies tonight after we're through this interview, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let me ask her Turkish, is it okay? Sure. Sizin asla hayalinizdi yönetmenle, üç kişi hayalinizdi dediniz. Bununla ilgili neler söylemek istersiniz? Okay, so just, uh, t- 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 Tabii. Let me just translate. Uh, it's I, okay, you don't have to. No, no, no. I want to. No, no, I want to. I want to. So um, the director and I have known each other for over 10 years, and then the writer and I have been best friends for over 10 years. So it was my, it was our dream for all of us to work together. Let's talk to them again. Okay. okay. Keep, 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 keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> so I just wanted to explain what the question was. So, yönetmen uh, Nick Leon'la biz 10 yıllık arkadaşız. Daha önce iki film çektik. Ee, yazar da çok yakın arkadaşım, 10 yıllık arkadaşım. Hep bir hayalimizdi beraber bir e, projede e, yer almak. Onun için böyle bir hayalim gerçekleşti. And uh, it was one of my dreams. And then I got to fulfill one of my dreams with a great actor. So o yüzden çok mutluyum. I'm very happy. I'm, uh, I'm thrilled. I'm excited. <gülüyor> And in Turkish, Eric Roberts' wonderful name for the movie. What oh, would you yes. like to say in Turkish? In Turkish. Um, Eric Roberts Oscar aday olmuş bir oyuncu, Golden Globe aday olmuş bir oyuncu. Bizim filmimizle bize eşlik ettiği için biz çok gurur duyduk, çok mutlu olduk. Kendisine teşekkür ediyoruz. We'd like to thank him for being part of our small little project. But I have to be honest with you. I don't do projects out of friendship. I do projects because I love the script. She came up with a great script, a really cool part of the play. How could I say no? So I said yes, and I made a friend. That's the extra. But I'm here because of the script. It was a really cool script. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. So cool. it was. Have you ever been to Turkey? Many times. Really? I've really? In Turkey. Really? Where have you guys been? <laughs> where, where, where have you been? To, like Istanbul? Open let's city? let's talk off camera. Okay. Istanbul many times. Oh, yeah. wow. oh, exciting. 